Hello, my name is Dario, a dreamer and a doer, and I'm going to present Handy Sword, which is our automatic sorter for house avocados that's gonna help the industry, agro industry. In our search to solve a problem that would contribute with our country, we started to send emails, knock on doors, and hopefully after some time, we received the response from the company Agroindustria Verde Flor, SAC, whose main problem was the high cost of rejected avocados. Okay. This problem mainly occurs due to two processes, one that is the fruit maturity and the other that is the selection process. We decided to tackle the first one and right now what they do is burn these avocados, in other words, destroying it and they cannot sell it for exportation. So we asked ourselves, can we determine avocado maturity with a cheap, simple and non-destructive method? With that question, we decided to go with our first hypothesis, which was using NEARS. NEARS is near infrared reflectance, which is used in many other fruits like apples or pears okay, to detect the maturity without harming the fruit. So with that, we had our first, our value proposition using this NEARS product, and our customer would be our industrial of the floor, as they were a company. We also had collaboration from Initel Uni, who lent us their cameras so we can use special cameras. This software that we created cost us zero dollars, but it did take us three weeks to develop. Unfortunately, things didn't go as we expected, and we didn't get any good results with the software. We couldn't find that level of maturity we wanted. So we were about to throw ourselves to the ground, bury ourselves, because it was also our thesis statement. However, we decided better, let's pivot, and let's change our plans and go to a fo and focus on the next process that they had, which was the inefficient method of the selection process. Why was this inefficient? Well, because the high level of subjectivity that they had and due to the manual process. Since it's a manual process, you cannot, uh, they, the workers, operators, are not 100% sure or cannot be 100% sure if they are going to detect, find some kind of uh, defect. These are the three main defects that are used when you want to export avocados. Friction between the to uh, fruits, burns, and also black spots. We started digging some, uh, digging for information about the company, and we figured out that in the selection process, they spent $520,000, which accumulates to about 14.1% of the, all the total expenses in the company. We started to look at the market globally, and we started to see the main principal exporters, which are number one, Mexico, number two, Peru, and number three, Chile with a revenue in total of 3.1 billion and expenses of 1.2 billion. If we took that statistic of the 14.1 percentage, we would be talking about $168 million that are spent only in this selection process. So we started to look at our market opportunity. And first, we looked at Latin America. We saw that with Chile, uh, Mexico, and Peru, we, can have, we have at least 970 companies that practice this. So with all the different ideas, we decided for our second hypothesis to make a software. This software will be automatic and will help us detect the defects in the avocados. Our customers updated and now are 970 companies that we have around Latin America. And we used uh, the, the company at Lucifer de Flor to help us out as a client. That way we can still have access to the different uh, selection process and we can also eat any, any other information if necessary. We decided to validate this by asking the general manager and the factory manager, and they were thrilled and gave us great feedback. So here we have our first MVP. That was the software, which would take a photo of the original fruit, and then you would have a false color image, as we can see on the right side. And at the end, we would have the decision if it was accepted to be exported or re uh, denied, rejected. This software, again, cost us zero dollars, okay? because we built it ourselves, but it did take us four weeks. We decided we had to validate the solution. And how do we do that? Well, we went to the company of the floor and we tried the Cohen co Kappa coefficient, which is a statistic, a statistic that measures two, the agreement of two evaluators. In this case, our software, and also the 20 experts that we had in the company using 120 avocado has, has avocados and Fortunately, we got great results, as you can see in the PowerPoint. So, we changed now. We now we didn't look at the software, but we were now looking at our MVP that we had, okay? 
However, we started talking to the factory manager again and he asked us, this is a great idea, but how can I obtain all the avocado if you are only taking or capturing an image of one face? As we have here. So we started to think, well, what can we do, right? The big companies at least have conveyor belts that can process and rotate the avocados, but we want to target all the companies, and especially the SMEs, the small and medium enterprises. So we decided that we cannot use uh, software only, it would have to be a system. We pivoted, we changed the software, and we say we had to be an automatic system that would do the selection process. We had to validate this, and we talked with five, six different companies, one of them being from Mexico, so far, and we had great results in their interest. Most importantly, the four, in, the four very interested companies were SMEs, so we knew that we can help these other companies grow and also boost our, our economy in, our, in the agriculture. So we start to think, since we are doers, we can definitely complete and make this process. And we did. And here we have our solution. It's our system prototype where, we, as you can see, we have not only two, but we also implemented three cameras so we can make sure that the classification is correct. In the back, we also have the selection process that will decide, open a gate, and will decide either it will go to the storage where they have the rejected avocados or continue to the next step, which is packaging. This product cost us, well, we built it and it cost $1,500, and it took us four months to build. But now, at least we had our system prototype, and why stop there? We took advantage of what the, cost, what the factory manager also mentioned, and we added a database. That way, we can control the different avocados that are processing daily. We couldn't, help, we couldn't do all this without our key resources, which we use as our cameras, sensors, and the conveyor belt that we invented. And obviously, a lot of research. Our, com our customer segment continued being the 970 uh, companies, especially Fruit Chicha and Avofar from Mexico, that were the ones that sent us different emails within Cinco Cents. And our key partners were still in the de Flor, and we added some institutional technologies of Peru, like INEA, which were gonna locate us more SMEs. The channel would be us directly, giving the company, and what we learned very important in Verde Flor was that we, the customer is, the relationship with this customer is very important, okay? So we decided that we were going to give workshops to help these operators understand how to use the system and also give one year maintenance. Here we have, the different validations from uh, the emails that we got from the different companies. And right now, as part of our continuous evaluation, validation, my partner is going to show us a couple of agreements that we had with some of our companies. Well, actually, it's with Agriduza de Flor, which was our first company that we had. I know it's in Spanish, so <laughs> in case I want to get it understand, but it's an agreement that can help us with their validation, saying that not only do they support it, but in a future, right at the end, in a future, they will definitely uh, continue and actually uh, buy it. Continuing, we had to look at the cost structure, and now it changed from being just a software to a whole automatic system. And our revenue will be three ways. One would be by selling the product, the second way would be the maintenance service that would be done annually, and finally, we would have the uh, data database software that we would be that would be used to supervise. We to validate this, we had to look at our competitive analysis, our competitors. There are two only two pro products in the world that do a similar process that we do, which are Spectrum from New Zealand and Combisort from Netherlands. One that costs one hundred and twenty thousand, and the other one one hundred and seventy thousand respectively. Our price after this, we had an estimated value of twenty five thousand dollars, which not only is less than half the price of the other competitors, but also a help uh, for the SMEs that are going to grow. We had a last interview with Cesar Davila, a main partner of Caposol SA, who gave us a spectacular feedback on what we can do in our future. So these are our next steps. Not only are we going to focus on the process selection, but also we're going to join processes and we're going to add a packing, add also the packing selection, the packing process in our new steps using different variables like weight and why not maturity again. And our last idea was spectacular was also we can select other fruits and foods. Why stop with avocados? We have apples, not oranges, lucuma, 
potatoes, many different, uh, many different kinds of products that we can as well use our selection process. We are mechatronic engineering students from the UPC, and we know that we have the capability to do and continue this project. But with your help, I'm sure that we can make this idea come true. Thank you. Yes, thank you for What's your school do? What is your engineering? Oh, we we study mechatronic engineering. We it's like a combination of electronic and mechanic. Okay. So, did you start with a product and back into a solution, or did you really start with a problem? No, the idea was we had to look for a problem as a thesis statement. We had to our own um, teachers told us you guys have to find a real problem. So we decided okay, we look for the maturity state. Uh, adding uh, sorry for us to detect maturity, but it didn't work out. So we started, since we already had the company, we asked them if there were either other needs, and they told us, well, we also have this need in the selection process. And after validating with other companies, we saw that it was a big problem. So you, you, did, you did you start with a sorting machine and work backwards? No. Or is, that, is your story how you told it actually how it happened? The, the way that I told it is how it happened. Okay. Yeah, something um, also very... You're, you have a competitive, so there, did, when did you identify that you had two significant competitors that already do what you do? It was part of like our, like the background information we had to know. Uh, we also, like I mentioned, this is part of our thesis. So we had to search that and we found these two competitors. Uh, they do similar, but not with avocados. What they do is they use it for different fruits like pears, like apples, right? All right so there is not an avocado machine in the world? Not that, well, like I mentioned, we looked for it. We, we couldn't, uh, if there was, we haven't found it yet. Okay. Okay. So have you um, tried to estimate the cost benefit of the solution? Because your labor is, is not that expensive. Uh, right. Uh, on, right now, we really haven't looked exactly at the product, uh, product benefit uh, cost. But we, we do know that this is a product that it's going to be useful for a lot of companies, especially here in Peru. I forgot to mention that in Peru, the has avocado, the has avocado production increases 12% annually. Okay, so it's something that we definitely are going to be able to use in this, in our country, and to improve our industry and also the other industries we have. Any other questions? So I, I didn't do a lot of research, I just did a Google search, and it looks like they're for sale in Alibaba. So, they're for sale in Alibaba? Well, says, Are you sure? Avocado sorting machine, Alibaba. That. Processing, sorting, grading machines for avocados. So, and? I don't, I don't, I, I'm not clicking on I'm just saying, did you guys drill deep on this, or or did you? We Like I mentioned, this is our thesis, so we definitely went deep. Okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty right now astonished that you actually will find it. Okay. Um, that's my opinion, right? All right. Okay, so thank you. Thank you.